Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Arcanum. Here I am without an elf. So, um, I also have... Oh, no, I did. I couldn't remember. I thought I... I was thinking about not doing the other quest, but... Um, the other quest that we got from the hunter dude, but... Let's go to Falcon's Ache. Falcon's Ache. And Mr. Wind. If we, um... If we pass by Mr. Wind's... Hunter, we might stop by. And I've got, I've totally got Elven Chainmail, so I don't really care about. Yeah, we'll get to you eventually. Okay. <laughs> Some dude just hanging out in the tree. What are you doing? He's literally just. Okay, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. Oops, Falcon's Ache. So where's the sh Shade Glen? The Bodacan visit. Why do I have that? Um, and do I have the Glen? Or is this the Glen? Or the Oh, there's the Ruby Glade. I thought it was down the down here. Could have sworn it was like around here. There's something else that's around there. Do we, we still don't have Caladon? I know there's like a way you can glitch, or there used to be a way you could glitch out the game, and you could just get over the um, mountains like from the like the shadow, the what's it called, the f misted hills, the what's it called, Sh shrouded hills, shrouded hills. That's what it's called. Um, so here. Okay, where are these hunters? I think they're inside. Are they inside? I want to say they're like just down here. Where are they? Is they down here? For this pretty place. There we go. Hey. Okay. So let's save. I kind of... I need to put more in willpower too. Because I want to get my persuade up. Or is that charisma? Human technologist. Hello son, who are you? I'm William Bench, outdoorsman and naturalist and head of this bunch you see here. And who might you be? I'm Don't here. Pleasure, may I speak with you? Certainly. What are you doing here? I am a surveyor, and this is my team. We are employed by the Toringsdale Locking Company. We have a contract to map out the surrounding lands, which were recently purchased by Toringsdale, and report the usability of its resources. Fairly standard job, really. Huh. We may have a problem here, Mr. Bench. Oh, really? And what might that be? Unfortunately, you're not supposed to be here. I think I'll be able to... Um... Persuade you otherwise. You might think differently if you knew who I was... Re who I represent. Well, you have... I'm not here from Wexwell Lumber. Well, you have, correct. I'm a C Gilbert Bates. I represent Gilbert Bates. He's thinking of getting into the lo logging business. He sees opportunity. And w are you going to question him? I met with a surveyor. I met a I've never met a surveyor with such a bad sense of direction. Well, Do you really think that legality is a concern of Mr. Bates? Okay, I think I'm... Uh, I hope I saved around here. Yes, I did. Okay. Because I can't kill them. I can't. 
Um, I'm going to try with the department of what's it called. So this is going to be another fun episode of me changing my... I wish that I could have some of that um, persuasion juice. Who are you? I'm Dantier. What are you doing here? You have a problem. You're not supposed to be here. I might be able to trade you otherwise. You might think differently. I'm from the Committee on Landwork and Development. Look, I lied. Gilbert Bates. Logging business? The steam engine business isn't what it used to be. You questioning my words or Mr. Bates? <sighs> okay. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, I can do this. I know I can. I know I can. What's my willpower? Willpower is nine. Persuasion is based on charisma, okay. Which is also nine. Well, I'm gonna save like right next to him. <sighs> Come on, I can do this. I think I just need to go. I think there's actually like a number of like mistakes you can make before he catches on to you. Who are you? May I speak with you? What are you doing here? We're gonna have a problem. Fortunately, you're not supposed to be here. Otherwise, differently. I'm not here from Wexwell Timber. Bates. As I said, he's thinking of getting into the logging business. Are you going to question him? Um. Do you think legality is a concern? Perhaps I could put in a good word for you. Yeah, here we go. My friend, I'm thinking that our little party might have had some fallen system difficulties, you know, hazards of the trade, perhaps a violent storm, and since we lost all the positions, you had to go back early. Very nice, Mr. Williams. I'll say I, you can always li I rely on Mr. Bates. Yo. Okay, that was fun. I'm sa I'm saving. So I had to do like I wanted to hit that the first time, but I didn't think for some reason I was like, oh no, let's just keep going. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna put in a good word for him, honestly. Um, so let's go to Quintara. Hopefully we won't get stopped. I don't want to fight anything. Because I'm in an elven place, and I don't know what could be holy to them. Like, there's some crazy, disturbed, messed up, gorilla, monkey, orangutan, phoenix, tarantula hybrid that's just, you know, waiting. Greetings to you. Good day. Awesome. But yeah, like, I don't know what's holy to these people. I'm half-elf. And I was, I'm going to say I was born in the city, which is why I'm more technological than uh, uh, magical. It's nothing to do, like, if I had been born out here, I probably would be more technological, or more magical. But no, I was born in the city. With the machines. Nee. Uh. Okay. Now let's go talk to Raven again. How are you doing, babe? I miss you already. You and your beautiful severe severity. Mmm. Just want to eat you up. Do 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 do. I should go talk to Gianna Styles. She's. I think she's more magical than. No, she's more technological. I believe. Yes. She's more technological. If I didn't like Virgil so much, like in the in a party sense. Hello again. It's so very good to see you. Raven, do you have a moment to speak? Certainly. How can I help you? I've removed humans from Falcon's Egg. Thank you very much. 
Your help in the matter is much appreciated. Now, what was it you needed to speak to my mother about? It's a long story, Raven. I'm going to tell it to her. A dark tale full of pain. Yes. And it would seem that the blame lies with us, the elves. There are elves involved. Do you know the name of Min Goran? I do not, and none of the elves who live here bear it. But it bothers me very much, pulls darkly at my heart and mind. There is another possibility, one I'd rather not think of. What, Raven? Do you know where I might find Min Gorad? No. You need to speak with my mother of these things. She will know what to do. Alright. Where might I find her? She's just beyond the large door behind me. But be warned. My mother is a magical being of great power. Her spirit swims in the flow, and sometimes she is more of that world than this one. What she sees is not always what we see, so her answers might seem strange to you. Ask what you wish to know, and listen. When you're through speaking with her, come and find me. I will, Raven. Thank you for your help. How can I help? Uh, I don't want to lose Magnus. I enjoy having Magnus in my party. Hello, beautiful. Look at that flowing white robe. She's floating. She's level 50. Damn. Hello. I welcome you, traveler. Greetings to you, silver lady. I thank you for this audience. I know you've come far. And I've expected you for a long time now. What do you mean? I've seen you approaching from both east and west, Traveler. And you bring them with you. All of them. They've no choice but to follow. Please, I don't understand. I know, I know. We speak different languages, you and I. The things I see, wrapped in the past and the present, and shrouded in the veils of magic. I cannot translate my visions into your own. You must listen, Traveler. Listen and learn to see. I will try, Silver Lady. What is it you see, Traveler? Do you know if I'm the living one? The living one? <laughs> oh, Traveler. Why would you think I would know of such a thing? It's a prophecy. I assume you can see what is to come. It's an interesting thing about prophecies, Traveler. They're no clearer to one such as myself, living both in and out of the stream, than they are to you, walking the shore. The flow swirls around them, until they are ready. And in the end, really, is it going to matter who someone pointed a finger at? That would be more comforting, would be comforting if people weren't trying to kill me. These people can only see what follows in your wake, Traveler. Pass your hand through the flame and it flickers. If you've tired of the mantle, then shed it. Disappear. Otherwise, don't be surprised at what people do. <laughs> <laughs> you've a point there. And the Black Mountain Clan. Yes, I can see them. But the ravens are circling... And the storm rages, but subsides. And yet there is lightning, and then shadow, and then the storm howls again, tearing. I can't even look at it. That makes no sense to me. Wait. Oh, look. They've taken in a small child with machine dreams, and hands of hinged metal, and a heart in which coal burns brightly. That's Gilbert Bates. But that was in the past. I don't know of what you speak, Traveler. Please, listen. Try to hear with my ears. I don't know if I can. I see a flame atop a hill, burning so brightly. And below, a field of wheat around a pool of water. And the flame spitting fire and consuming the wheat and the lake and losing itself as well. Is there anything else? Do you see anything else? It's dark here. So dark. And the flame is here too. But this flame burns black onyx and cold. And shadow is its child. Are they here as well? 
I can't see that far. What else? A plane of mirror glass. A sky of white. A lone figure. Wait. Which is the reflection? I'm unsure. You're speaking in riddles, silver lady. That is all I see, traveler. The riddle is created by you. Do you have anything else you'd like to ask? Mingoran. What can you tell me of that name? Mingoran. An old name, traveler. Oh, a man is screaming and carves a key with his fingers. And the birds have plucked his eyes out. And the wolf watches, motionless, his paw in the air. Is it Mingoran? Is he dead? What does the wolf mean? A tear in the curtain, and only darkness beyond. A ragged wound, mended with a ring of blasted stone. What else? What else do you see of Mingaran? A hand that sees, but is blinded. A man draped in truth, wearing a mask. You've lost me, please. And they hide. The lost children, they hide. A gray mist, even to me. But there, he runs, dropping veined and painted leaves. And the flock comes, talons outstretched, and wings of fire, and he is consumed. But the leaves... What? Run quickly, traveler. Find what was left behind. In the place of smoke and water, he is there. He is there. Who? Mingrad? I see no more. The stream is again calm. Was there anything else? No, but I understood almost none of what you said. I know that, Traveler. But I also know that clarity is often the child of time. Your answers lie both in front and behind. Shrouded hills, maybe? Make sure not to overlook one for the other. Characteristically cripple. Cripple. <laughs> Cryptic, dear lady. <laughs> <laughs> I go now, traveler. We will meet again, though I'm not sure on which side. No matter. Farewell. Goodbye. Hey, I may have to. T I'm gonna take all of Magnus's stuff preemptively. Preemptively, in case I have to get rid of one of my followers, because there's no way I'm getting rid of Virgil. He's too integral to the story. How can I help you? But I don't really care about most of this crap, but I am going to take all the jewels. I wish there was just to give me all of his crap. Except for the stuff he gets angry about. Rough cut diamond? Yes. Star Ruby. I think that's um, used for one of the... Um, altars. Okay, let's see. Let's. I think I might end the episode here, um, and take care of all this crap out off camera. Yes, definitely. Um, so thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Uh, feel free to check out some of the videos that I do on the other series. Series. Um, and if you're just coming into this one, there's like 50, almost 50, videos that you haven't seen yet. So. Um, feel free to check those out. Explains how I got here, what's going on, and either way, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, etc. I'll see you next time. Adios.